The Guangxi Mountains are a very popular travel destination, but not a lot of people know that just two hours away from Nanning, there is a very beautiful forest that inhabits over 3,000 monkeys. the monkey mountain. Its name is Longfu Shan, which means dragon tiger mountain. But nowadays there are neither dragons nor tigers. So how to get there? There were 10 of us, so we booked a mini bus, which cost us 1,300 for a day. It obviously is a little bit expensive if you have less people. There is a public bus from Xixiang Tang bus station, but I've never seen it, I've never took it, so I can't really recommend it. Diddy will cost you 300 one way, so the best way if you don't own a car is to hire a driver. Let me know in the comments if you need a phone number. The road to the park is stunning. First you see lots of banana trees, some dragon fruit and orange orange trees, rural China, and later on there are those beautiful Guangxi hills. It takes around one hour and a half to get there if traffic isn't that bad. <laughs> At the gate they will check your health codes and the ticket costs 60 kwai plus 40 kwai for the boat. You are not allowed to take a backpack of food as the cheeky monkeys will try to steal things from the backpack. So I've arrived at Monkey Mountain. The monkeys are looking pretty sexy to be honest. That's why we've got They're a little bit scared, yes. They are quite huge. And you can't take a backpack unless you're a famous YouTuber as, like me. So yes, I can uh, take And it. me. <laughs> Turns out I'm a Doyen star, so <laughs> uh, I'm allowed in as well. <laughs> With my coffee. <laughs> Cheers. After you enter the park, they will talk about the rules. Don't feed the monkeys. Monkeys don't watch your phone or camera, but if they see food, something in the pocket or a backpack, they will try to, to open it. You can't touch or pet them. The moment we started walking, a lot of monkeys started following us, hoping we have some food. At the beginning, I was a little bit scared, especially because I had to stop here and there to take some videos. There were a lot of baby monkeys. Monkeys under four years old are cared and protected by their mothers. Surprisingly to me, I learned the adult monkeys were 20 to 30 years old. I was impressed with what I've seen when we entered the actual forest. I mean, nature in China is often very beautiful, but I imagine this park a bit differently. No fence, but a very beautiful path from one place to another. The first actual stop was to help the monkeys get their lunch. It was well done as it was us humans who had to be inside the cage for once and feed the hungry monkeys that were outside. It was quite fun. They eat everything. They are omnivores. Fruit, vegetables, insects, nuts, eggs, basically like humans. You couldn't bring food into the park yourself, but there, there were some options once you entered the park. Then, through another beautiful path, we went deeper to the forest and another feeding station. It was more open so you could see beautiful mountains. There were lots of monkeys there. Monkeys are very social animals and they usually eat, sleep and travel in groups. They express affection and make peace with others by grooming each other. Then, you can finish your itinerary by taking a boat, but we decided to have some food. The choice isn't great though, all you can have is instant noodles or some sweet snacks. There was also a traditional Gongxi house, kinda cool. This appears to be ordinary wood, right? Yeah. Let me show you. It's actually oh, traditional gym! Yeah! Pump that iron! Oh, that's so sick! Hell yeah! This one is obviously the heavier weight. It's for the wife. It's for the husband. Yeah. This is where the men work out. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, feel the burn. One, 
two. Yeah, it's heavier than it looks, but it's so cool. Here yeah. we have the line. As you can see, they've all burnt out. Not much fun to be had down here. But we're gonna be continuing on our journey. So stick around, just hit a like and subscribe at the bottom down here. It's nice this side. On one of these two sides, hit like and subscribe. Make sure to buy a boat ticket at the main gate because it's 20 quite cheaper and you must try it. Monkeys use vocalization to communicate, so our guide also tried to make them come. <coughs> it didn't really help, but we had truly magical moment right there. <coughs> the woman was singing, it was very quiet and peaceful and this bamboo boat was slowly moving down the river. Then we saw one monkey and started feeding it with peanuts. It didn't take too long until lots of them came there and started jumping into the river. I didn't expect that was going to be so interesting and fun. There was another feeding station at the end of the river trip. The sun was slower, so the lights on the river was more common. Because of traffic, we arrived at the park later than we planned, so we had to come back to the bus. The whole walk took us around three hours, and I think it was quite enough as we didn't have nice food there. The whole journey was amazing. I didn't have any expectations about this place. I was thinking we'll spend some time together and there are also gonna be some monkeys. But I didn't think that I will be so happy at the end. The place is very beautiful and it gives you the feeling of untouched nature. We were there basically on our own and that means a lot when you're in China, as most tourist attractions are too busy to enjoy. Guangxi has lots of beautiful places, but as this place has not only flora but fauna, this park really stands out. And I think the only downside to it is that it's a little bit awkward to get there and you can't have nice food there, but I still would really recommend it. So I hope you enjoyed our video, if yes, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel are there more adventures to come and if you go to this place or you went there before uh, leave a comment and tell us about your experience and we hope it will give you something to remember doing a free giveaway on the channel we've got a handful of peanuts we're giving them away if you like and subscribe to the channel the next five subscribers will receive a free handful of peanuts and a video Message. From us, personally, from, from giving you a happy birthday message <laughs> from us. Okay, Malaga. enough, yeah. <laughs>